What's going on you guys? It's your boy Jeremy Cash back with another valuable, valuable video for you. So I finally figured out how to create these dope landing pages uh, for CPA Grip, right? Or pretty much for anything, but especially for CPA Grip. So I wanted to show you guys one I created, right? So I created this Jordan one here and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Don't worry. Um, so they'll come here, they'll choose whatever size they want in the shoe. They'll choose how many pair they want, right? They'll go to choose my Jordans. Uh, and then they'll go here, they'll put their name in, and then says, where do you want the shoes shipped, to your home or to your business? They'll click ship my shoes, and it goes through this really dope uh, connecting process where, you know, it's showing them they connect to the server. It'll have, you know, whatever name they put there, and then, you know, uh, where they're getting their shoes sent to. So after this, you know, we all know that they'll have to fill out a content locker. Uh, but I wanted to show you the human verification page when it comes up and how dope this is, right? So as soon as this comes up, uh, it'll be flashing. And so as you can see right here, the human verification is flashing. So that's what I really like about it. Uh, and then I believe I can still change all this because I'm not done. I won't even have begin download right here. I'll probably have uh, get my shoes or something like that. But once they click that, they'll have to fill out an offer. We all know that much, right? And that's, that's one of them. My second one is this one here. Uh, I'm still not done with this one yet either, but uh, it says get your Kylie Jenner lipstick for free. I created this entire thing and I'll show you exactly how uh, to do that. Once they click this, it, it should have all the Kylie Jenner lipsticks right here, but I have, I'm not done. I'm still, I still gotta take some of this stuff off and then put you know, the names and all that stuff here. But once they click on whatever lipstick it is that they want, it'll bring up the locker, the content locker, okay? And so, as you guys can see, they'll have to fill out one of these. So I'm still, you know, in the process of doing this one and all that. But if you want to know how to do that, let's go over here to CPA Grip, okay? So we're on CPA Grip. The first thing you guys want to do is go down here to Monetization Tools and uh, your File Lockers, right? I'm actually going to make a killing with these things, guys. I, I do a lot of practice before I even do it. Uh, but go down here to URL File Lockers, right? Create a locker. Of course, we go here, continue. It'll bring us to a page like this. Now, you want to go straight over here to Advanced, right? So when you go here to Advanced, it'll give you two boxes, a custom CSS box and then a custom HTML box. So then after that, we want to go to a website, cpagriptemplates.com. Okay, this is where you can get your free templates guys I already went to a website like this before to show you but I'm gonna show you exactly how you do these okay so you just pretty much pick whatever template that you want okay they got a, a number of different templates you can choose from different pages uh, for this sake we'll choose this one just to show you how to do one of the more complicated ones uh, the rest of them are pretty easy but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this right now all right, so when you go to, you see a CSS as soon as you click on it, right? You want to just copy this whole thing. Now, it's fairly long, so you're going to be copying for a while. So you pretty much just going to let this roll all the way to the bottom. Wait, let's go up a little bit because I'm already past it. Okay, so that's the end of it. So I will right click and then I'll copy. I'll come back to CPA Grip where it says custom CSS. That's where I'll paste this. Paste. I don't do anything else. Then I go grab the custom HTML. So we come back to the CPA Grips template website and we come down here and we grab the HTML code the same way we just did the first code. So we come all the way down. I just scroll all the way down. Well, I got too much stuff. So scroll back up and get the end of it. Same thing, right click, copy, come over here, paste, right? Then we click this blue refresh preview button at the bottom. So after I do that, Lo and behold, look what pops up in CPA Grip, right? Dope, okay. So, now it's time to change some things. Let's say you didn't want to do Clash of the Clans, you wanted to make up your own thing to do. So, let's do that, okay? So, over here under Custom CSS, right? You're gonna look for the word background. So, right here we see background. So, we wanna change the background over here, right? Then we see URL, okay? Then we see the link. HTTP, right? So we look for this link and we're gonna copy it. We're gonna copy this link all the way until we see the end of it inside the parentheses, guys. So make sure you look for the first parentheses and the last parentheses. Whatever's in the middle is what you're gonna copy, right? So we're gonna actually delete that, but I'm just gonna copy this and show you that that's the background image, right? So that's the background image that's on CPA Grip, right? So let me go back over here. 
that's the trees and stuff that you guys can see here in the background all right so i'm going to keep that highlighted i'm going to go find a background that i want so depending on whatever it is that you're promoting you just find whatever background fits that on google okay so let's say i'll do beach okay let's say we'll do beach wallpaper and i'll just grab any kind of beach it doesn't matter so let's say i grab this one i right click i'll save it to my computer i'll put beach 20 or 34 okay just just as a random name okay after i do that i want to come to another website and this website is called imgur.com okay as soon as you get on here you'll see this new post button all you have to do is click new post you don't even have to have an account which is crazy then you come over here you click browse you go find that the image that you just downloaded from google so in my case it'll be beach uh wait i gotta go to documents mine will be beach 34 so i found this image and i open it right it opens right up in this website immediately and then you get a code here in the right hand corner okay this is your link so you copy this you go back to CPA Grip, and now we can delete this in, this background image from uh, this section. So we delete it. You notice it's still inside the parentheses, so now I'm gonna actually paste that link, and then I'm gonna put dot .jpg, right? After I do that, I'm gonna come down here to the refresh button, and we're gonna refresh. You see, the beach is now there, you see that? Shows a little dark when you come down, you see the beach in the background. Dope, right? So pretty much that's, for the most part, that's all we're gonna have to do for this top CC, I mean, custom CSS part. The rest of it is gonna be on the HTML part, okay? So you do the same thing. So now we come down here and we need to find the word logo for the most part, okay? So we, keep, we come down here and we searching And maybe it may not be logo it may be under banner so when you see stuff like this uh, look always look for SRC and that's where you'll see these links at when you see SRC normally you'll see a link so we want to check out this link to see which which one that is so you just copy this link go to a new browser and paste that link to see what it is okay so that's the clash of the cl uh, clans that's what we need okay so you come back to CPA grip so we're gonna be removing this part right here okay so let's say you want to do a beach logo now on this you want to do a PNG file that's the one that has a transparent background okay so let's say we just want a different logo uh, that's that's really nice okay so for instance if we can find one with a transparent background so we'll click transparent right here so we can remove the background from some of these okay uh, and if you can find some with some words, great. If not, you know, if you know how to make your own, great. This one doesn't have it. I wouldn't, you know, be careful how you use certain people's stuff, but I'm just using this as an example. So I'll save that under logo new. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come back to the IMGUR site, click another new post, and we're going to find that image that we just saved. Okay. So logo new, open. It opened it up we'll copy this link right it's pretty much you know verbatim you're just gonna keep doing the same thing uh, let's see oh repetition this is the word I'm looking for <laughs> okay so we're gonna delete this background because I have it highlighted make sure it stays inside these little quotation marks okay so we'll just click backspace and then I'll go ahead and paste it the new one and then I'm gonna put dot PNG. The reason why we want to put .png is because it doesn't have a background. The other one we use .jpg because it does have a background. Okay, so this one .png. Refresh, and as you guys can see, Panama City, right? That's pretty dope, right? Okay, so now after that, we come down here and we're gonna change a few things. So we see choose amount of gems. Okay. So we can say, we can find that. So you gotta kinda look through these, you know, uh, stuff here, and I see choose amount of gems right here. So we can delete that, right? And we can put, let's see, uh, choose vacation spot, right? 
let me make that a lot let me make that all caps so we'll say choose vacation location right and we'll click refresh and when they come down here choose vacation location right now when you get down here you see the 999 so we see that right here so let me zoom in on that you see the first 999 so we could delete that and I'll say something like Bora Bora I'm just gonna put some you know some vacation spots in here I'll use I could say something like uh, Panama City or Dubai something like that right and then I'll click refresh the preview and when they come down they'll choose whatever their vacation spot that they want to go right and then uh, you'll look for choose amount of gold so you come down here again and we see choose amount of gold so we can delete that and then say how many visitors and they'll choose you know how many visitors that they're gonna have with them I can refresh it but you guys get the point it's gonna change that so when we come back down here to the uh, the other section of nines we can choose how many visitors they want so how many visitors one two we'll say four or we'll say six visitors right then when I refresh the page they'll come back here once they scroll down choose your vacation spot right uh, how many visitors two four six boom okay so if you don't want it to say generate now you'll come down here and you'll find generate now which is right here okay and you can change that you can say book my vacation right and then after that of course you can refresh it and it'll change it like I gotta keep showing you guys to make sure you you're following me so book my vacation or you can have you know say whatever you want to if you want to get rid of these little weird things here okay like I said you guys have to look for that uh, that SRC so I'm gonna show you exactly where it is you gotta 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 kind of go slow so we see these are back to back so SRC and we find the link okay so if I delete this one backspace and then I copy this other one and I delete once I refresh those little fiery flame things won't be there anymore so let's see refresh come back over here see so they're no longer there right now I believe you can change the colors and stuff of all this stuff but uh, you gotta go down here and look for it I haven't did it yet cuz I've just been you know figuring out this portion but if you want to add more options guys like for instance if you want to add more options to your vacations all you would have to do is just copy copy this so let's say you wanted like 10 vacations and that they can choose from right you would just click enter and you would paste that and then you would change another name to let's say Texas random I know Texas at all these nice places but so then when they come back here they'll have Texas as an option right and you can do as many as you want to and that's the same with this one so I'm just giving you guys that example okay so after that you go ahead and click book my vacation now of course they don't have a username or anything yet so you need to go up here and find username and then you can just change that to their name right so you need to come up slow until you find username okay so we'll keep coming up right we'll come up come up come up I see a couple other things we'll change but that's later so let's say we can find username bingo username right here okay so instead of username oh and this is how you can change the color okay so let's say we want that to be blue L U E we'll just change that color to blue and then right here we could change this color to blue but we'll change this to name instead of username or first name you can say that and like I said guys if you want them to add a last name you can do that too so first name okay and then instead of it saying username and email we could just put name n-a-m-e right and then we'll go ahead and refresh this page right quick refresh the preview button so you have to come back here click on this and now it has first name and then name right so and, and uh, instead of let's see yeah instead of it being device right you go down here and you find device 
you guys are catching my drift now, right? So you'll find device, and so it says name, uh, and then you can just change that, or you can, you know, if you just want them to have to put their name in, you can just delete all that, and none of that will show up. But for instance, if you wanted it to say, let's see, tickets. Let's see how many, how many tickets. Right. So I'll click on that. So it says how many tickets, and then where you come down to where you see Android, and then you'll see iOS and PC. So how many tickets? You can say two tickets. Four tickets, let's see, four tickets, and then you can say six tickets, right? And then at the end, at the bottom, it says connect. You could just say book my vacation or something. Book my my vacation again, right? So you'll go ahead and click refresh. It'll bring you back to the first page. You'll come down here, book my vacation, name, how many tickets they need, right? book my vacation then it'll start to generate a couple of different things guys so let me put in a name I'll just put in the Chris name again so they'll have to you know book their vacation it says Chris you know they need six tickets uh, and then it'll it'll go through like that so that's how you can create yourself a landing page now you can do this with any template on the uh, website guys and that's what I was telling you but if you want to uh, change certain things like there's a couple of other things like the human verification port you can change that as well you it'll pretty much say whatever you want it to say and it'll blink right so uh, you can you know like I said that can say whatever you want it to say uh, warning signs they have a bunch of different things in here that you guys can change so you have to go through here pretty slow and kind of read around uh, please prove that you're a human that's right there so that can be changed as well so if I wanted to say uh, please prove that you're a human to get your vacation you can say something like that uh, and then after you know the process this will resume that'll be that right there and then uh, the click to, uh, to verify that you're human part you can change that as well so that is how you create your dope landing pages now like I said they have a bunch of different templates uh, on this website guys that you can use uh, to, to do some really cool things with so I would say go through here okay pick out you know how you would think really think about what it is that you want to do because it's so much stuff that you can do what is it that you want to give away what is it that you want to sell or just what kind of you know crazy ideas can you come up with to make people want to click on your links right and, and and people will do it all day man there's just so many different ways that you can promote these different things like for instance just to give you guys an idea with the whole Kylie Jenner lipstick thing let's see let's go to Google here and I'm gonna see if I can go to Kylie Jenner's um, page right Kylie Jenner's Instagram so we'll go to Kylie Jenner oh whoops we'll go to her Instagram right Instagram right so if I go to Kylie Jenner's Instagram right now we can see that she has 129 million followers correct and so when she's promoting her lipstick look how many people is on here right how many how many comments right she has tons of people from different countries and all kinds of stuff that's on there so if you just go down here on her makeup line and on her lip lines and all that Whenever she's posting about, you know, uh, her lipstick, just go to all her lipstick posts because I know she has a bunch of them. This right here, you know, 21,000 comments, guys. You can easily start hitting these people up and say, hey, you want some Kylie lipstick or check this link out for free Kylie lipstick. And you can be getting leads and sales like that all day long. So it's really about how bad do you want it. So. When I say, you know, go to these websites and check this stuff out and go ahead and do your research, guys. Figure out what it is that you want to do and go ahead and crush it, man. It's your year to make money. Hopefully, this video helped you. Um, you can click the link below uh, if you want to know, you know, how I do my landing pages on uh, lead pages. Uh, you can get lead pages below this video. You can also get the CPA course. The CPA course dumps, does come with the email uh, software, so that's in a bundle. Um, and you can also just figure out all the different ways I make money online by clicking the number one recommended way. Uh, if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, click the number one recommended way I make money. All the coaching and all that stuff is there. Everything you need, I have it. Contact me and uh, comment below this video if 
you need any other videos to be made so that way i can help you guys the best way that i can other than that i am out of here peace